Could today be the final episode? I doubt it, because I think I've said penultimate and final episode for about four episodes in a fucking row now. The Omnibots are awake, which is great. I just had to, like, basically hook up one more very small uh, wire there. I didn't even realize that's all it took. And now the Omnibots are off to go. I didn't even think we had enough power, but it turns out with one shitty, shitty windmill, we can power three Omnibot stations, because they use next to no power. They use the same amount as your basic cleaner, which seems a little bit shitty in hindsight, but hey, there we go. Right, so... Um, these Omnibots are basically going to run this entire sort of reef stock and refuel station if we allow them to. So first things first, we need to get enough over here just for the refueling and the restocking, obviously. Um, everything else, though, that's fine. I don't care. Yeah, obviously, the Omnibots don't need food. All they need is power. We don't, we're not leaving any colonists permanently here. Like I said, we're just going to blast them over. Everything else can be run by these bots. I think we need to keep a Tay AI here or, or any sort of robot here just so the area doesn't despawn because these don't actually count as colonists. Um, can they not mine? Oh, they, they can. It just takes some fucking energy to get over there. Right, there we go. Um, Capybara's one is being attacked by a, a nightling. I don't give a, a fuck about Donnits and Mason's apparent pet Capybara that we have going on here. That's completely fine by me, honestly. All right, so uh, this is kind of the most important base we've got to focus on for now. I've, I'm sort of trying to juggle three bases at once here, which isn't ideal. Um, how, do, how fast are they mine? Oh, my God, this is ridiculous. Yeah, these Omnibots are pretty absurd, eh? Uh, if we go ahead and allow that as well, they should be able to haul those urgently. Um, yeah, like I said, so so the second we've got this Tay AI online so that the area doesn't despawn, Quite Lachley and um, Dave, who are here, are going to get blasted off. The only thing I want to do is set up like a couple of beds as well, just in case they are stuck here for longer than um, anticipated. Maybe a couple of farms as well, uh, just to keep very, very basic food and supplies here so that we're not completely fucked in the event that we can't blast off immediately. Um, get a couple of dresses, shit like that, just to, just to give them whatever comfort we can give them at this stage. Uh, so we'll put one there, we'll put one there. I'm trying to go for like the sort of efficiency without without using up too much of an area. Let's go end table. Um, that should affect all three, and then we go for a dresser. Now I'm hoping if I put it there, it'll affect all three. It won't matter too much if it doesn't. And then we want to put a regular Rimworld dresser somewhere as well nearby. Um, just put it there, whatever. Right, there we go. Now the Omnibots are probably going to get that done in about two seconds flat because they're ridiculously OP and we've got all three of them over here. Um, let's get all this wood chopped too. Shouldn't take them two minutes to do all of this. Jesus, look at them go. They're unbelievable little things. I wonder how their work order works. I assume it's just the basic sort of uh, priority list. So obviously left to right there. But, you know, obviously you're not able to customize that at all because they seem to be just plant cutting and... Why did they do that? So they came all the way back from mining to go and... Cut down a single tree? I have no idea how it works. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, when, when these things get going, as you'll see in a second, look at this. Like, this base is going to be up in no time at all with these things. They're so OP. Anyway, that's pretty great. So that, that's that's pretty decent. That's a nice little base that we've got set up there. There's nothing really to worry about. We'll get Tay turned on as soon as possible. What do we need for that? Might as well send that over. Um, we need 40 plus steel, 10 gold, and that can just act as our cook and our sort of, um, I mean, basically just to cook cooking simple meals or something along those lines. Right, so... Uh, plasteel and gold in that case. And apparently the way you do launch groups when you explain to me is just build these so they're touching one another. That's it. Right, so, um, in this one, let's... Have we already got one sort of, like, partially loaded? Uh, apparently we've got these ones partially loaded. Okay, weird. Um, what have they got in them? Steel. Just plenty of steel. Launch them. Send them off. Yeah, let's get it over there. Right, so, our new base is this one here, right? Di Dice Town. Is that what it's called? Really? Okay, whatever. Send them over. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um, we could just drop them straight through the fucking roof. Sod it. Right, there you go. Um, you as well need to go as well if you don't mind. There we go. Oh, no, wait. Hang on, that's this base. Don't don't launch it from our base to our base. Right, there we go. Sweet. And what else have we got? So we want to load this one with... Did I say golden plasteel? So, category... I saw my name. Jesus Christ. I hate this bit so much. This is like the worst thing. Like, the menus in Rimworld are, are notoriously bad. I need to find something that fixes that. There were a couple of recommendations that I noticed, so thanks, thank you for those. Um, I will, I've made it, I've started to make a list for the next series, let's put it that way. So, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, but I will be getting a little top of like a master list built over the sort of next few episodes. From Plasteel begins with AP. Pa la Apparently, we don't have any Plasteel. Okay, fair enough. Fill up with as much gold as we got, then fuck it. Um, well, I don't want to send that much because we kind of need it here as well. 500 is fine. Um, you know, a couple of medicine actually wouldn't go amiss. Send like 10 medicine over there as well, just in case you get like a raid or, or someone gets injured. If you got anything we can just blast over there, that would be helpful. Anything at all. Um, got a load of dead bodies, so that's not going to help out too much. Um, guns are kind of irrelevant. It's a real shame we can't blast these things. Um, 1,200. Is there any way you can send that? Can caravans, say we send like 50 animals, would they be able to carry it between them? I suppose it doesn't really matter too much. What do these things need to build? Should probably 
uh, add some more things that those things require. This is fine for now. Just launch this one. These, these drop pods are so cheap. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's see what we actually need for the nuclear power plant, then I'll start work on that too. Plus, steel uranium components. Oh. Well, we've, we've already blasted over everything we've got those right now. We're waiting on more components to be built. We've got 23 over here already. So, Jesus. I thought someone would was, was hit then. We'll wait for this to be built, obviously. Oh, we'll wait for the rest of the components here before we build everything else. I want to get the nuclear power plant up and running um, before we do that. Oh, Jesus. They're completely trapped now. Good one. Right. Um, just do that. That's fine. Uh, let him out. Bring him home. There we go. Up. There we go. I thought they were permanently trapped then. Jesus. Alright, so let's get this wall dealt with. Now, I don't want to build a roof in this area, so I will uh, not allow this to be roofed over. But everything else is fair game. So, um, ignore roof area, preferably. Oh, no, what is it? Remove roof area? There we go. Uh, do that in this one, just so that we can actually launch those pods. Nice. This is looking pretty good, I think. Now, we're just waiting on um, a little bit more plastic, a little bit of gold. Don it's got gut worms. Oh, Jesus, they have no f uh, medicine over there, do they? I mean, Donuts is a really, really great doctor who can probably self-tend to a decent quality, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, wait, Donuts got gut worms? Did he fuck? Excuse me? Did he just get incredibly lucky with his first heal and, and, and it disappeared? Well, that's, that's pretty crazy. Alright, so these boys are literally just growing food, and that's it. So we should probably set them up with a little bit of power as well, whatever we can find on the map, really. Um, there's one of those things. Galatros. They're the things that are sort of like thrombos, aren't they? Have we got any components? I can't see any. Geothermal power. Might not be a bad shout, to be honest with you. Um, probably better than things like windmills. I can't see any more com Oh, there's some components. Okay, sweet. So we've actually got a fair amount. Right, so let's go power. Um, how much for the Xeon? Was it the... Wait, no, wait, which is the advanced geothermal? There it is. So what is that? More plasteel, which I don't really have. I mean, I'd like to... S wait, where's the closest geezer? I mean, it was quite far, wasn't it? It's going to be difficult to defend that. We've got anything else closer? Not that I can see. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll just go for your standard sort of crappy generators, I guess. Ideally, one of these when we get to it. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just get a couple of windmills. It's only got a power like, you know, a cooler. So it's not not a massive deal. Build that in the middle of the farm and actually keeps it, uh, keeps it fairly well safe from trees growing, that type of thing. I'm going to do that to sacrifice a little bit of the crops. Alright, uh, let's run that over. So we want to power with that our overwall cooler. Which we'll put in here. Um, I think we only need one. And then obviously a bench for cooking. An electric stove, some might call it. Alright. <laughs> bench for cooking. Alright, that'll do. Nice. Like, absolutely disgustingly overpowered. So I've got these boys plant some red lentils and some rice just for generic meals to be able to be cooked in this colony. A couple of lights probably couldn't add some floors as well would definitely not go amiss. Um, let's go for basically anything we've got here. Where are lights? They're under furniture, aren't they? Um, a couple of wall lights. We don't want too much. Again, I don't want to waste too many goddamn resources on this place. It's only like a temporary stop-off point. And then that doesn't need lights because that's outdoors. Then we also want uh, some means of cooking food. Definitely wouldn't go amiss. So, oh, also some food storage, I guess. We could put like a little sort of kitchen, I don't know, kitchen dining room area. That'll do. Um, we'll just do it like, like that, I guess, is fine. We'll go ahead and cancel this one. Um, it's kind of hideous. <laughs> that's kind of hideous. You know what? It'll do. I don't really care too much. Right, that's fine. And then we'll have this to be the freezer. And then I guess we'll just cut off a little bit of this for a sort of kitchen dining room area as well there. And again, with the Omnibot, it doesn't matter because it's going to take them 30 seconds to build it. So I could change this design as much as I like, really. Um, again, door. Door to quickly get between the farms and the freezer there. And similarly, we want our temperature dealt with. And then I think only one is, is, is good enough for that. And then we also want uh, under production, our stove too. And then I guess, do we run out a butcher's table? I suppose we're growing lentils, so it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, put that one there. We'll put a door next to here. And then we'll also put a dining room table in here. Because everybody knows in RimWorld, biggest sin in this game, uh, eating without a table. We don't want people to go completely insane. We don't need a big table. Uh, it's just, again, a stop-off point for colonists, so it doesn't matter that much. Dining chair, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. And nice. Okay, sweet. And then obviously a storage area as well. Probably wouldn't go miss, eh? Um, stop bell zone. Let's go storage. Clear all critical and allow foods. And I guess corpses, but I mean, probably not really. We could have them fishing. It's probably not a bad plan. And then with this one, uh, preferably no corpses and no food in this one. And then we'll set that to critical as well. Right, okay. So that's a very, very temporary pop-up base there. We won't need to worry about doing much outside of that. Uh, we might need a little bit more wood to build up the sort of corners and stuff. Blast over a couple more resources and then we are 
basically set to start ferrying people over to Donitz and Mason. Because some of you get left me some feedback that said, hey, this 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 ship event is incredibly difficult. And there's no way in fuck Donitz and Mason will be able to fight it by themselves. So, fingers crossed. All right, so with you boys, what, what do we need to send over? It's plasteel, gold, steel components, generally. So uh, this one has gold and some medicines. So we might as well launch this one over. Again, these drop pods are so cheap, I really don't care not being super efficient with this. Right, so we want to load onto this one. Do we have any more components built? Uh, sort by, preferably, uh, can we just go sort by name? Does that work? Yeah. All right, so components, we are... Oh, we have 63. Shit. Okay, 750. So we also need to send some over to Donington Mason as well. So that's not a bad idea to... Should we just fill it up? Because this area can always make as many as it can, right? It's basically got access to infinite resources. So as long as we can survive, we're basically good. Um, we want steel and plasteel. Do we have any plasteel yet? Uh, still no. I need to double check the mining, find out why that is. And some steel. If we've got any. Uh, shit tons of silver. Steel. Oh my god, we've got loads. Right, fill to the brim and send it off. Um, well, not yet. Alright, why are we not getting any plasteel then? What are you boys doing? Too busy mining just other shit. Oh, we should be starting on plasteel right now. Fricko? What are you doing? Is it just taking you that fucking long? Seriously, dude? My god, it's just taking him hours and hours. Oh, and then he's taking it over to the stockpile. Right, okay, right. I'm glad I've worked that out. Right, drop, up, drop that on the floor. That's why it's taking so long. He's wasting time walking back and forth. Nick, what about you? Plasteel is high on the list, but this one is unpausing at... Why is that not paused? I guess maybe this build never actually fulfilled. That's, that's too much steel. G give us less steel, honestly. We, we really don't need that much shit. All right, there we go. We'll let that pause at like 3,000 and then unpause at, at what? Like 500 again? That's fine. I need more plasteel as soon as possible. This guy is next on the list. All right, there we go. We should be good then. Um, is Nick not allowed to mine plasteel or something? You definitely are. Where the fuck are you going? I want steel to transport pod. Hey, no, come on, come on work in the deep mine. I should probably turn him off of loading then. So Nick, um, although mining comes before loading, I don't know why you're... Oh, because it's higher priority. Right, okay, fair enough. That's why. All right, problem solved then. So that should give us enough plasteel now. I assume they're going to be using some for producing like bionics and shit. So I'll go ahead and turn these benches off as well because we're not going to be using those probably anymore. Um, that's good. Right, these are all set up to just be producing components. So again, our entire goal right now is to ferry the shit over to the main base. Now I'm interested in seeing how this thing looks because this is the uh, this is the biggest brain upgrade we can get. Oh my god, Galaxy Brain! Research speed factor plus one thousand percent is just ridiculous, and that is like disgustingly overpowered. Um, well, we got some new stuff I haven't seen here. We've got like prisoner containment. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's been here the entire time. I honestly have not noticed that. Um, so we've got electromagnetic assemblies making MRG one rifles, which are those ridiculously OP things we got from uh, got from the commanders when they tried to attack us. Sector summon immunity. Sorry. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> That's a subject I'm not touching. Right, let's move on. How's the sushi restaurant doing? More importantly, if we got some sushi, um, we have a fuck ton of insect meat. Who the hell's making insect meat sushi? Sushi bots. You betrayed me. Um, why are we getting no sushi being made, though? We've got no fish still. We've got no fish. Shellfish meat? Not refrigerated. Oh my god, did I build these and then... Ah, oh, you fucking big idiot head. You absolute fool. What is wrong with you? All right. Well, I've worked out why we haven't got any sushi. Uh, it's because apparently the freezer is doing very little actual freezing. Why the fuck are we butchering insect? They don't ever do that. Insect corpses never. And insect corpses, again, uh, never preferably. Don't even have a bill on that one. All right. Sushi restaurant really is low tier, but I, I, it is sort of my legacy, so I want this one set up quite nicely. I just love the idea of us doing this whole genetic engineering series, uh, doing all of the nuclear fusion and this ridiculous research, and leaving behind a sushi restaurant. There's just something so poetic about that. An unfinished sushi restaurant is that. Right, um, why is the thermo being put in here? Dobson? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> you can't make sushi from thrombo? What are you thinking? Oh well, I'll just leave them to it. As long as this colony's running effectively, we don't really mind too much. So Nini is apparently upset because there are bodies everywhere. All right, let's get those hauled. Get, get them out of here. Omnibots, come, come bury them. What up to our... Oh, that'll be why. Right, we've got no storage space because I assume this freezer is absolutely full to the brim. Okay, let's get rid of some of these bodies and let's turn these machines back on and have them uh, breaking down our, uh, our, our friends that we've got kicking around. Sushi bot apparently stealing our formless boom loop there to make some sushi out of. Good, classic. There we go. Granny Grimble's getting rid of the bodies now. That's that problem solved as well. Right, Quillotchin and Dave, how are you boys doing? Um, apparently it's sad times over here because the windmill's shitty. Blocked by pine tree. Blocked by fucking pine tree? Get out of here. Um, we will turn that pine tree into uh, an unblocker. There we go. All right. Uh, get on that, Omnibots. Or, or don't? 
Oh, Dave's on it. Dave, seriously, we've got these eternal super-powered robots and you're pissing around doing their job for them. Honestly. We're supposed to be living like kings. We're in, we're in a Jeff Bezos world now, Dave, and you're doing their work for them. All right, there we go. Problem solved. All right, so what do we need for this, then? It's still just plastic uranium components, yeah. I mean, we should probably blast those pods over. I think they've probably finished loading it by now. Uh, I did check a second ago. Where the hell is it? It seems nothing. Uh, component uranium not ready. Loading in progress. All right, we'll just go wait for them to load this one. So it's 41 components and some uranium there. Good. All right, sweet. Um, contents of... What, what else are we loading into this one? Oh, we're still waiting on more components. You know what? We'll just launch it. Honestly, that's fine. 41 components and the uranium is, is more than enough. Then all we're just waiting on is a plastic for them to mine up. Shouldn't take much longer. All right. Launch that over. Problem solved. Another 2 for 50 plasteel and 175 steel there. And I did rebuild some more drop pods as well because I'm getting through them quite quickly here with the amount we're actually shifting over to the secondary base. Right, there you go. Omnibots. These Omnibots, I honestly can't stress how kind of broken they are. I wanted some, you know, obviously some some uh, doors and shit and, and like floors built in this base. Basically just set them a massive area to deconstruct and they got it done in, in seconds. Like it's pretty OP. So what do we need for this then? A little bit more steel, uh, which I've sent over here now. So more than enough to finish that one off. 100 plus steel, we've got that done as well. Uranium, we have 115, so we need a little bit more uranium. And then... A little bit more components as well. So there's nine more components and another 135 uranium. And we are good to go. The nuclear power plant is done. So let's get that done before absolutely anything else. That's, that's top priority number one right now. So we need uranium. Oh, fuck me. Every time. Get out of here with that. Right. Um, uranium. And, I mean, we don't really want to launch too much, I guess. Because it would be better to use the pods for other more useful things. Like more steel definitely wouldn't hurt. Because that's what we're using to build the drop pods. What the fuck is going on with my numpad? Jesus. All right, send some uranium. That's pretty great. Why is an unfinished component weigh 126? That's that's absolutely ridiculous. Right. Uh. So 135 uranium, and then was it was it steel we needed? No, plastil. It's plastil. We don't have any more plastil. I'm going to assume. Um, plastil. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay. 60 plastil. We are good. All right. Thank you for loading that up. No, it was components. Brain. Brain, I hate you. Well, we need more plastic. No, no, no. So what I'm thinking of is Donitz and and other boys. Donitz and Mason's new curator also needs plastic. So I'm, I'm planning ahead a little bit too much here. Right, so components as well. I'm trying to get it all lined up, ready to blast over so those boys can be fine as well. Send all the components we got. Honestly, just send more steel and plastic because that's, that's basically what we need here. Um, any more steel kicking around, boys? Send it over. Like I said, let's get it all. Nice. So that should be basically that. We've got this base more or less just supplying the other two for now. And that's all they're doing here from the looks of it. Um, got hauling bots like decomposing bodies, things like that. But it's just getting human, like dead human corpses out of the way the easiest way possible. We shouldn't be producing any more silicon, that type of thing. Um, uh, items came unavailable. Steel, honestly, it doesn't matter too much what we're waiting on. 112 steel. They're probably turning into, into uh, components, that's why. That one's ready for launch. That one's ready for launch. Can we select launch group? Um, how do we do that? So we go select launch group. Uh, select next in group. I have no idea how this works. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Right, okay. Um, launch group. Send them over. And this should be basically both nuclear reactors nice and supplied. So that was the one that didn't quite have enough steel. Again, doesn't matter too much. Launch that shit over. All right, sweet. So this base is now as good as we're going to get it. We need a little bit more steel for obviously these refineries and things. What can we make chem fuel out of reliably? Basically, any sort of crop. We could have a massive tree farm. Uh, sustained by these Omnibots fairly safely. Can't believe once you've built them how low cost they are to run. It seems a little bit OP. Um, that might as well just be the fucking slogan for this series, eh? Why did that zone not expand? Why did you do that? Right. There we go. We're good. That's so weird. I hate the way zones work in this game sometimes. Drives me mad. Oh, Jesus, my roof. Watch out with that, eh? All right. Uh, we still got some more wood coming in there. Nice. Thank you, Dave, for uh, helping out the robots. I'm sure they need it. There we go. There's a nuclear power plant. A couple more batteries probably couldn't go amiss as well. Uh, definitely wouldn't hurt too much. We've got more than enough steel now to also build the cabling. So we'll just go ahead and put a sort of generic cable in there. A um, couple more lights we need as well. Probably wouldn't go amiss. All right, sweet. So let's take a count of resources after we finish build all of this. And I'll try and work out what we actually need to send over to Donitz's base. Um, sorry. Oh, Donitz has visitors. You know what? That's fine. I'm kind of surprised there are any factions in the game that actually like us. Sorry, how did this happen? We've got a tree inside our warehouse, and I've, I've covered over the floors as well. Um, this windmill is doing fuck all, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Uh, what you boys could do with is the power of battery. There you go. 
you guys enjoy that one. Um, it's not even connected up, Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. That should solve that problem. We've got more than enough resources kicking around, because, so, you know, Donuts is the Superman. So I actually set him to go and get a shit ton of components and stuff. Why have we not got solar panels after all this time? I feel like I should just go and research that one incredibly quickly. You know, this would be really great to see... Um, oh my god, we get advanced solar panels? We'll get that one. This would be really great to see how fast this brain actually works. I'm pretty sure they're still set to high research, aren't they? Yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. So that should be Nick and Sedini, right? My god! Absolutely disgusting. Oh look, it's got like this weird beam of light. Can you see that? Blast into the workbench. He's literally going to get this done in an afternoon. Nick is going to do this in like five minutes. And was that not four? Oh, it's 2,000 research. I was gonna, even for 2,000 research, that's disgustingly good. There we go. Problem solved. All right. <laughs> Holy shit, that's insane. Right, so hopefully the solar panels aren't too expensive. If they take plasteel, I think I'll scream. Um, if I see any more goddamn plasteel. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Energy output, 3,400 watts for a solar panel. You feeling all right? That's pretty insane. Right, we get a couple of these put down as well. Um, might as well put them on the sort of inside track of the base. No, I kind of want to build a dining room in that area. Make the most sense. Um, why can't I place these down anywhere? Oh, because there's swamp. Right, I see. Look, there's like a little bit of swamp back there. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, um, but, okay. Fucking put them anywhere. I honestly don't care at this point, Don. Let's just get this base up on its feet. So I did remember to set that one up properly. Let's get the stove basically producing bulk simple meals, I guess. Give Mason something to do. Um, do that forever. I mean, if you can cook meals, you might as well. If we've got anywhere we can fish from. That'd be a really cheap way to bring in food. Oh my god, there's swamps everywhere. I forgot you could fish from those. Right, let's get some. Let's get Mason actually out fishing or something. You know, there's one here. That's probably the most convenient one to go for there. So Mason, if you can fish, um, teach a man to fish, and he will fucking do it. Thank you very much. Right, so he's actually got a a, a reason to be in this area now because he was obviously the colony chef for a very very long time. Just gotta wait for these stoves to turn on. Boom! Look at that. All right, and let's get ourselves as well a butcher spot, butcher table there. Um. Might get a little bit messy in there, but it doesn't matter too much. We've got one more Omnibot core. I think for the first thing we send on its Mason, it should be one of the anti-logic robots, right? I think that's the best gift we could ever give them. 100 watts for what is essentially the best colonists they're ever going to see in their goddamn lives. I assume it's not heavy enough to... Um, where's the weight? I have no... Oh, there it is. 13 kilograms. That's nothing. Fucking kilograms in 2018. What system is this? Sushi Bot. <gasps> Sushi Bot's carrying a fish. No. Has he done it? Is this going to be some sushi churned out? Uh, well, we, we, we're certainly getting some... Uh, well, we're making some... Yeah, we're, like, actually make the sushi, though, fucker? Uh, prepare sushi. Why can't we do that? We need vegetarian. We need rice, ingredients, vegetarian. Oh, my God. We also need other sorts of... I hate you all. All right. <laughs> um, okay, then. Fine. I see how it is. Uh, what's the quickest one to to uh, grow that is uh, suitable for sushi, apparently. I didn't even know you needed fucking corn in sushi, but that's news to me. Um, fruits, barley, bean, any sort of bean. Uh, olive, potate. Potate is good. Um, any sort of fruits are fine as well. Whatever grows the fastest, really. Are strawberries on here? Apparently not. Stra apparently can't make strawberry sushi. Um, even though I've seen strawberry sushi and I've never actually seen barley sushi. I think barley probably grows pretty goddamn fast, right? Um, let's take a look. Barley plant grows in 56 day lifespan grows in seven days bean grows in 4.5 days fuck it we're gonna have some bean sushi sounds disgusting so we need more steel more apparently we have no components left which is pretty unbelievable i've marked them on the map here but i'm trying to do a head count for what we need to actually build a nuclear power plant for donuts and mason um so 50 steel one component then the actual pod themselves are what 200 steel one component or something like that they're fairly cheap um let's take a look transport pod 60 steel one component okay it's much cheaper than i thought we've got too many components over here, I'll be honest with you. To be honest, well, I mean, we need a lot, but we've got way too many. Um, let's just send a shit ton of steel then from now on. Just fill two pods with, with steel, well, two or three pods with steel, and then send the first thing that I want to send over is obviously that Omnibot. I think that would be such a cool thing to send over to this colony here. Right, imagine that. You're at this colony, you think you've gone by yourself, you know, you're struggling, there are tribals around, you're eating literally like whatever the fuck they're eating. I have no idea what you boys are eating right now. Simple meals, just just cooked rice. That's all you've got left. You're struggling to build solar generators. There's a capybara dead on top of it, so it's reducing the power. Kind of cool if I actually did do that. And then watch it fall from the sky, but a fucking anti-logic Omnibot. That would be, that would, I think that would give them hope in these dark, dark times. You know, that's like the, the bit in uh, Interstellar when they got the signal back, right? Okay, Murph. Um, except in this case, it's it's Donuts. Okay, it doesn't really have the same ring to it. Steel, 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 steel. 
Ste steel. Yes, send them all... Where's my steel, though? S t it's alphabetical. <laughs> what is alphabet? Right, send them steel. Um, man, we need, like... I should probably send, like, three pods full of steel. And then send an omnibot and some more steel in a fourth pod. Um, fuck me, I hate this system. It's so bad. It's actually got awful. Just have it alphabetical always. Like, why would people want it? It's like, the categories don't make any sense anyway. The fucking AI robots count as furniture. This, this makes no sense. <laughs> Alright. I, I could remember that steel is somewhere, you know, what did I say, like a quarter away down the list last time? Alright, so steel for you as well. So that's three steels loaded up. Three pods loaded up entirely with steel. You want to send the AI bot, which could be absolutely anywhere. So again, I'm going to sort that by, what do you call it, like Omnibot? Um, I think that's what they're called. When they're, when they're uninstalled, obviously I know they're called Omnibots, but I don't know what they're called when they're minified. Um, yeah, Omnibot base station, right? That's what we're looking for. And then for the rest of it, again, with brace yourself here, steel. Because that's what runs the colony. Alright, that should be more than enough for all of those boys. Let them get loaded up. We'll come back to them in a few minutes. Let's check what these boys are up to. Uh, still haven't built that butcher's table. Oh, because we're out of wood again. Jesus Christ. These boys are just flying through all this wood, eh? Um, right, we'll just chop these ones down here. Donuts, uh, I mean, it takes, it's short work for Donuts, right? This boy's unstoppable. You've got to still remember, this is the guy with all the barnacks. What's he actually got in him? Oh my god, he's got so many of the OP barnacks. He's, in fact, he's, he's even stronger than Grantly Grimble, the really broken boy, because he also has this Orion exoskeleton too. So jobs for him. He is basically like a human omnibot. I think this was overdue, but let's actually start building up the spaceship, then getting ready for this sort of more endgame stuff. I love that all of this work has just been into fortifying this area and sending our rest of our colonists. We've got more than enough. Yeah, we've got 18 capsules, so we can bring everybody. question is, do we bring Tay? I do like the idea of Tay running the sushi factory by herself. Um, so it's a nice little, uh, what the fuck are we, what the fuck is this? They're having a party in the sushi restaurant? Donuts and Mation are fighting for survival and you people are having a fucking sushi party? I'm irrationally angry about this. Get the fuck out of here, I don't even see you guys. Quill actually is literally having like the world's biggest mental brain now, what's wrong with it? Malnutrition? My other colonists are starving to death. Oh, right, because the rice has apparently taken five years to grow. Understandable. Let's, let's blast them over some luxurious meals then. Um, probably should have checked that before, eh? Uh, cook simple meals, five. Cook lavish meals, five. Nobody has apparently not five cooking or nine cooking or whatever. Um, cook those in bulk. Do until we have X. Do until we have X. Do until we have X. And we'll just say, like, again, it's a stop-off point. I think 40 of each is way too much. Uh, but we'll do it anyway. Lavish, fine, and simple. These Omnibots need something to do right in their spare time. I assume they can cook. God knows. Okay, that's fine. Now we need some lights in the dining room, and then we need to blast them over some food as well. Um, if you guys aren't too busy having a fucking sushi party, whenever you're ready, men are dying, and it's all your fault. Someone's ready to launch, someone's ready to launch, someone's ready to launch, someone's ready to launch, and um, we will send them a shit ton of food, because I imagine this colony has way too much. 405 lavish meals. Yeah, you know what? I think you guys can afford to lose like 100. Even that's probably overkill, but I honestly, it will help keep moods. Uh, we do have sushi. Holy shit, we've got sushi. That's incredible. Good news, everyone. The sushi restaurant is working. Holy shit. Right, send a send hundred food over. I won't bother filming the whole thing, honestly. Who cares at this point? All right, team. Get this loaded up. The, the men are starving. Ready for launch. How are we doing with that one? 52 meals. Uh, how many did I send? Oh, I sent a hundred, didn't I? We just went on a couple more. There we go. Thank you, Chode Smirtly. Um, cargo pods? H honeyed ice pop. Honeyed ice pop. Donuts fucking loves honey dice pops. Let's cancel the whole... <laughs> Imagine that. End of the world. You see one of your drop pods coming in. Branded. Gene Corp. What falls out of it? Honey dice pops. Who needs an Omnibot when you've got delicious sweet treats? Alright, um, so let's send all of these drop pods over. Man, this is uh, pretty fucking monotonous. Eh? I wish I knew how to launch these things in groups. Alright, there you go. Um, not, not that it's that much work. I think it's like an extra second per drop pod here. Right, send you. And then... Which one was it? This one? Perfect. Alright. Everything is answered, boys. Steel and meal. What more could you need? Let's turn on my, and then we can actually send Kret Lachley and Dave over if we feel like, because when I close this screen, you're going to see, that's right, the great sight of all. Oh, God, no one's capable of doing it. Jesus fucking Christ. The launch pods are ready. My God, base two is actually set up and ready to go. We've basically, uh, I love this micromanaging three base at once. I feel like this has actually breathed, breathed some new life into the series for me a little bit. Um, I, I kind of like it, because I, I really hate, you might have noticed this. Games where you sit and wait for things to happen. RimWorld's guilty of it. CK2 is guilty of it. Hence why I generally play on the fastest speeds. I mean, how we've even got a mod to make the speed even higher on this one. Beyond the maximum. Um, I could have said this is to go further beyond and I completely missed the fucking reference. Holy shit, fine meals. You guys are welcome. Like, genuinely. Honestly, just enjoy it while it lasts. So, I've set this one up to make just 500 
basically fuel at all times here, because that should definitely be a priority. Really shame we can't get these Omnibots, like, prioritizing that. I don't think we can manually say, hey, Omnibot? Hey, Omnibot? Uh, can you... No, I don't think we can do that. Uh, Dave, are you capable of it? You can do it. Hey, refine us some stuff, Dave. And then we can actually launch this over to Donitz. Once we've done that, Donitz's base is going to be basically run by itself. I mean, Donitz and Mason can sit around and wait for everyone to turn up while the Omnibot does everything. 100 watts, we've more than got that there. Look at this. This is a success. This is absolutely a success, team. Let's build a couple more of these. We might as well uh, start the second row of... My God, that took no time at all. Do we have enough for a second nuclear reactor? What do we need? Um, oh, we don't have any more uranium. Right, so that's the only thing left to blast over. 630 steel. Let me just double check what these things actually need to build. Because um, sending that and the Omnibot over would be like the best news for these boys here. So power, nuclear reactors require... If I can fucking see it. Um, 1,000 steel, which apparently we have on the map. Uh, 100 plus steel. 250 uranium, 30 components. So it is just some more uranium, which will obviously blast over from this base right now. Man, this is so good. And any second now, we should have ourselves. Boom, there we go, some uranium. All right, so that's, that's that problem solved. Oh my God, they're out and they're filling it up. This is so good. We, like, we've done it, team. Let's send it over. And I feel like that's a really great place to end the episode here, sending them an Omnibot of all things. Uh, send them an Omnibot. Send them some components. Not that many, Jesus Christ. What is it for these, uh, what is it for these things? Let's see. Um... So it's 30 components and 100 plastic. I feel like we could fit those along with the Omnibot too. So, uh, 30 components, Omnibot, and as much plastic. Oh, wait, what? Where's my plastic? Doesn't matter too much. Just send the fucking uranium. Christ. Just get it gone. But there's my plastic. Why can't I send. Maybe I just completely missed out. I am blind. All right. Boys, get to loading. Mai's going to. Oh, we should give this settlement a name. Absolutely, we should. We're going to call it um, Gene, Gene Corp. Refuel Station. Refuel Station Alpha. Um, a great name, I know. Inspired, in fact. Right, so don't bother fueling up these things, honestly. We only need three going right now. Um, I will, when we've got enough fuel left over, keep all of them fueled at all times for, like, I don't know, emergencies? Seems a bit pointless, eh? Right, there we go. Um, is that far enough? Is that going to be able to launch from where it is right now? Thank you, Mike. This is, what, this is why you're around. Okay, 25 more uranium. If you don't mind, when you're ready. <clears throat> Com components? Hey, we're good. Right, hopefully that can fucking... Of course it can't reach. Um, right, more fuel. We need more fuel. Get more fuel in the cargo hold. Boom. You motherfucker. I thought this would happen. Okay, um, I mean, realistically, we can just caravan it over, right? Contents will be lost. Yeah, no fucking shit. Um, we can just caravan it over. It'll literally be like half a day, I think. So, let's send that. Can we also... Can I add someone else as well? It's a little bit annoying that you can't also load in, you know... A person. Right, so send Dave and send, um, do you want to set up another one? Just like a caravan site. That's all we need to do. We could just leave an AI there just to keep the keep the base going. Oh, you don't have to abandon it though, do you? You can leave a, a, a site with nobody in it. Okay, and that way we could at least, if there was an AI there, we could send some people with an AI and then send the AI back and forth as like a caravan AI. The only thing I worry about then is if it's grabbed by Pirates and things. You know, I'm, I'm massively overthinking this. Right, send it over. Components, uh, send 30, I guess. Um, and then also send Dave. We're sending Dave. Dave is, Dave is off. Dave is the first going into an unknown land. Jesus, seriously. Dave, you're so fat. Fucking Dave. Camera mass 35 out of 35. Um, that means they can't move, right? I know, we're good. Come on, so now we're loaded. Thank you. Goodbye, Dave. Godspeed. Um, I hope you don't get completely fucking trashed. Should have sent him with some food. Should really send him with some food, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Dave. You're so, such a shit, Dave. Right, cancel. Send him with some food as well. Right, Dave. Good. Are you, are you guys glad I remembered that? Otherwise, I'd have massively screwed myself there. Right, uh, day's worth of food. Zero. How long is it going to take him to get there? No more than a couple of days, I can't imagine. Um, how, how long does a mushroom last? Ah, uh, duration rate five per day. What about, what about lavish meal? How long do they last? Ten per day. Jesus. Um, so mushrooms are pretty good. Berries are pretty good. Cherries are pretty good. And I assume same with cloud berries. Yeah. So we'll just send them with a shit ton of, of berries, I guess. So, you know, you enjoy that. Uh, and then send all the components we can as well. Um, not, not actually that many, though. Like 25? Nope. Like 20, 22? Fuck's sake. 21? Of course it'd be 21. Okay. Perfect. Dave should be happy. Dave's going to be well fed. Off you go, Dave. So if we drop it here, it is basically just road all the way down to Donitz and Mason. So uh, I guess here is the best site for it. Off you go, son. Good luck. The fourth base. <laughs> this is micro. I like this this level of management. This is something I can deal with. This is macro management rather than micro, right? Uh, maximum number of colonies has been reached. 
Um, I'm going to say no to that. That's a no from me. There we go. Dave, settle, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Little did I know. I, I've been saying you're so useless for so long, but you're such a great guy. Oh, this is pleasant. Uh, kind of a nice map. Nice that there's no winter. Uh, kind of kind of loving the whole forest thing, but not too bad otherwise. Some, some salvageable shelters. Yeah, this is all right. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, The Adventures of Dave. The Lone Adventures of Dave. Oh, that's got a much better ring to it. Shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons making this series possible. Big to Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Lorus, Haydock, Sidini, Necrophilian, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I am the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, P Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcswolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Whitman. Thank you all for your support. Much appreciated. Hope you guys are glad that the series is, is accidentally going on much longer than I thought it would. And a big shout as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Euron DeVries, Dunk 22 and 7, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, The Sage, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asura, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Igor Kozak, Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, and Panther Pearl. Thank you all for your support as well.